Hello, hello, hello. It's Tammy, and I believe this is the start of vlog number 34. Did I vlog on my way to work this morning? I don't even remember. It's been a crazy, crazy day. I don't think I did. So I think this is vlog number 34, and this is the beginning. So welcome. If you guys are new to my channel, I really appreciate you being here. If you've been here for a while, you know I appreciate you too. I just love all of you. It's so cool that you guys watch me and you like these vlogs. It was, it always just makes me smile. So today is, these questions shouldn't be this hard, should it? Um, Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday, June 27th. And I am on my way home from work. <sighs> and I'm pooped and it is 79 degrees out and it feels wonderful. It feels so good outside. Um, it should be a little bit warm, but honestly, I don't know. There's something that it just feels beautiful. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's great. I think I'm making tacos for dinner tonight. Actually, I know I'm making tacos. I'm going to have ground beef. Actually, it's ground turkey and, um, with taco seasoning and then I have lettuce and tomatoes and cheese and black olives and black beans and sour cream and I think that's everything I don't think I have any salsa which sometimes I enjoy putting over my tacos but I don't think I have any I might have some taco sauce I'm not sure if I have some in the condiment section of the refrigerator door then perfect if not we will do without it is okay and then um, I might make some Spanish rice if I have some of that if I have some rice I don't know if I do or not um, the, and the rice that I'm talking about is like the, the ready it's like in a bag and you just make it it's got the spices and everything already in it it's like I think made by Noor so yeah if I don't have any of that, then we'll just have plain tacos and deal with it. Oh, and I have some limes, too. So we can put some lime juice on it. I'm going to make fajitas sometime later this week as well, which is another reason why I got the limes. So, yeah, that'll be good. Uh, that's what we're having for dinner tonight. This morning, my son went to the dermatologist. He had an appointment because he's working at B-dubs. I, I, I think I've mentioned this a million times that he works in B-dubs. But um, he's been working in the kitchen and there's lots of grease and he feels like it's obviously not good for his skin. So he wanted to go and see what the what they thought about it to make sure that they weren't thinking that you know it was getting worse or maybe he needed to do uh, Accutane again or something like that. And they actually said it looks really good that there were just a couple little baby uh, pimples on his face. And they were a little small. He has some scarring on the sides of his face, but um, we will take care of that. Oh, there is a duck. Get out of the middle of the highway, you goofball. Um, one of those geese. That's just crazy. Oh, that's looking good. All right. Um, uh, so they, of course, sold us some retin, which cost $68, but she said that this tube of retin should last him his whole li lifetime. She was really cool, so at least he knows how very sparingly to use it. She was very good at even showing him, like, just to take a tiny bit and just to dab it on your little, wherever you have a pimple, but not to, like, not rub it in, just dab it on your little area, and that's it. So that was pretty cool. Um, and then when I was there, I also bought... Have you guys heard of baby foot? I think that's what it's called, or baby feet, or something like that. It's a peel for your feet. I have tried a peel before from Perfectly Posh. I, pur I purchased I purchased a peel woo, from them. It's been a year ago or so, and I tried it, and it didn't do anything for me. And so I was kind of bummed, and I thought, well, I don't know. And then when I was sitting in the waiting room, they had a brochure of all the things that they do for like chemical peels and I don't know what I'm talking about, dermabrasions and stuff like that because I'm looking at his acne and knowing that in December they want me to, or November they want him to come in and have a appointment to talk about options to get rid of some of the scarring. 
and I was kind of looking at it wondering about how much I'm going to have to spend on that and what it's going to look like and honestly it doesn't look as expensive as I expected. I expected about a thousand bucks or more and it looks like some of the things that they can do are like a hundred, hundred and fifty. So you know that's worth it to me to have his skin clear and you know to, for him not to be so self-conscious because right now he is. So they also had in that brochure the baby foot thing and it's 20 no it was 19 dollars and i thought you know what i think i spent 20 on the one that i got that didn't work and this is like the actual brand uh that was that's supposed to be so good and i don't know if you guys have seen it if you have then you know what i'm talking about if you haven't you may or may not want to because it's a little bit gross but a little bit cool all at the same time but like i have really dry feet i have really dry skin especially in the winter but um, so I will probably do it again in the winter if I really think it's successful in the summer. But, um, you know, you have, you, you walk on your feet. So, duh. So, uh, <laughs> that was brilliant. I'm so smart. You can tell I'm college educated, right? Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> our feet take lots of abuse. <laughs> wow. And, um, this is pretty cool stuff where you put it on your feet and then you like cover your feet up and then you like wear socks for so it's kind of I'm not gonna be able to wear my flippy flops while this is happening because your skin literally peels off and it sounds nasty it's not nasty it's it's like you get new growth underneath and so when the skin is coming off it's not like peeling your skin off although that's what it seems like because it will be like a few days will go by and then you'll be able to peel all your skin off and if you've seen any of these YouTube videos it looks like they're peeling their skin off it's not bloody or anything and you know it's it's totally safe and it's something you do at home and it's not gonna hurt or anything like that but it just feel it just sounds ugh. and I'm not a big foot person anyway feet are nasty and my feet are no better than anybody else's feet but I don't like anybody's feet so bleh but um so peeling it off is gonna be bleh. but I probably will not show you because I will be wretched in the bathroom trying to get this stuff off. I'll take a towel and like move it around probably, not even look at it myself because it's going to be gross. But um, it's gross but cool at the same time. So, and it's supposed to leave your feet so soft and amazing. So that's the, the end come, the end result is supposed to be worth it. So I'm excited about that. So I got that. And then I went to work. I was a little late for work since I took him to his appointment this morning. and. Um, I had a salad for lunch which was nice that I brought and then I put some buffalo tuna on it that I really liked. I hadn't had the buffalo tuna yet but Starkist makes the tuna that comes in the foil packs which is my favorite kind. I don't like the tuna in the can but um, the foil packs of tuna are the best even though they're a little more expensive. I will pay the price to not have to smell the can or to pull open the can. Blech. That's like cat food. So um, I I got this buffalo style it was really good but then also what was I gonna say oh they have this new yogurt I don't know if it's new new to me yogurt called Ziggy's and I don't like Greek yogurt and people have said oh well try this one you're gonna like it no no two dollars for a thing of yogurt that is 59 cents if if I buy the yo play which I like I actually can enjoy the yo play you know like the non-fat or whatever the the one that's really good is like it has I don't know you guys know what I'm talking about it could be low fat non-fat reduced fat I don't know not the whole fat one but the other one it's it tastes really good and it's good enough for me maybe it doesn't have as much protein as these other ones do or something but bleh, bleh. I don't like the thickness it's all creamy and thick and I like pudding but I do not like Greek yogurt bleh. Something's going on up here. What's the going on, people? Nobody asked me. And it's in my hood. So, you know, I tried it. I'll tell my son he can have it. Um, I might try it one more time with some fruit in it. Because this, the first one that I got was just vanilla. Which I probably should have brought a fruity one first. But I just didn't like it. Uh, and then... My watch, my, not watch, my Fitbit better be at home when I get there because I, 
got notification that yesterday it was there but then when I followed the track it said that my Fitbit had been my target package had been delivered but when I went to the tracking it said it was delivered to the dock and picked up by Richard or something and I'm going what the heck so I think they delivered it to the United States Postal Service and then the USPS will deliver it to me so I am hoping that that is the case and I am hoping that it is at home when I get there and if it's not I'm gonna be ruffling some feathers because it was supposed to be here yesterday and you know Target you pay for shipping and it says to your home so if they're not shipping to your home and they're shipping to the post office they should be telling you that and I am a big fan of Target I spend lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of my hard-earned cash at Target so Target you better get it right get your head in the game and I can't really say that since I don't know but it was seriously it should have been there yesterday to the house instead of UP why are you delivering it to the post office that doesn't make a lick of sense does it doesn't make any sense to me post office didn't order it I ordered it you have my address you send me my bill and all that you know you know where I live send it to me <laughs> <sighs> So that's good. Oh, and a follow up from Dunkin' Donuts. They sent me a little voucher for a free breakfast sandwich and a free breakfast drink of any size. And they did apologize. So that's good. I mean, I felt good about it. I don't know. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be so apt to go there again had they not been so responsive and nice. So that was a good thing. And I, I sent it to them on Facebook. I sent them the little clip of the video that I took and I also sent them a picture and I told them that I was disappointed and they um, they responded right away so I cannot complain they did a good job so yeah I will I will go there again of course I don't go there very often but you know I'll save that email and go when I can and an update on Taz because I don't have any news he's still coffee 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 it's still awful. He still sounds like he's hacking up a lung and he spits up some nasty stuff and blah. But um, I haven't heard anything. Dennis tried to call and they still didn't have any results. But they said they wouldn't until the end of this week. So I guess that's just what we're going to have to wait. It's Tuesday. Um, I'll call on Thursday if I haven't heard anything. But I don't know. Seems like these tests should take less time but I guess it's not humans it's animals and maybe they don't have the same kind of systems that they put in place for humans where everything is I mean and you know I'm saying that but things have gotten so much faster nowadays with all the digital everything instead of how it used to be so I mean really it's not that long if I if I'm realistic, but when it's when it's your animal or you, you know, it always seems to take forever. So, uh, so meanwhile, I'm just still worrying and praying and trying to be positive. And our pooches cough, cough, cough. And now we have let them start sleeping in our bed again, <laughs> which is a good thing and a bad thing. I mean, it's sweet because I love him, and it's so sweet to have him in the bed, and he's so darn cute. But it's bad because he does kind of keep me up a little bit sometimes with his coughing. Now, once he goes to sleep, he usually doesn't wake himself up coughing, but I go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, and when, so when I wake up, if he wakes up, he starts coughing, and ugh, it's bad, so there's that. I don't see a box at my door. Oh, I am not going to be a happy camper. <sighs> well, I will let you guys go, because I don't even know that the mail has run. Oh, I do see, I do see a box. I see a box. I see a box. All right. And it's a Target box. It has Target wrapping around it. So I will be all right. I will show you my new Fitbit. Hopefully this is the box. I ordered enough to get two boxes though. I didn't really order enough to get two boxes, but they sent it in two shipments. You know how they do that. So I don't know exactly if this is that one or not, but I will let you guys know in the morning when I vlog again. And it's going to be late probably tomorrow because I'm going to a all team meeting tomorrow and then there's a, a, a baseball game so I won't be vlogging early in the morning but I'll talk to you soon bye bye hi everyone it is Tammy I guess I should look at the camera 
Um, it is Thursday. So it's been a little bit since I've vlogged. Because yesterday was a weird work day. We had a all IT meeting and an outing. So I didn't vlog because I was driving unfamiliar places and I needed to use my GPS and all that jazz. So I just didn't feel like vlogging that. Um, and today, and it was kind of a crummy day too, but I was just a crab apple and I feel much better today. But um, we did get the call from the doctor, finally from the vet, it seemed like forever, but he does not have blasto, Taz does not have blasto. So, on one hand that's good because he doesn't have blasto. On the other hand, it's really bad because, what's the alternative? It's either cancer or he has something, some foreign object that he aspirated in his lungs that's creating a mass that they need to do a biopsy. So the next step is the biopsy. And the way that they do it, he described something called a bronchoscope, something like that. And they stick, they will sedate him, put a tube down his throat into his lungs and put some saline in it. And I don't know exactly what, but um, yeah, that will determine what is up. And if I'm going to be perfectly honest, and I'm not a Debbie Downer usually, but, and my head does go to bad things when things happen, but I really don't think this is a good I don't think he's in good shape. Um, just from the way everything has happened, it just doesn't seem right to me. But I don't know. I could be totally wrong, and I'm not. I'm not giving up on him by any stretch. So, don't any of you feel like that, because that is not the case. I love my dog, and I will fight for him, especially when he can't fight. Um, but there are a lot of things to consider before I decide on a treatment course if that is the case but I haven't really even started thinking that because even though that is my thought I'm keeping it in the back until I know for sure because I don't know for sure so the poor dog just sounds awful and you can hear him all the time I mean it just he just sounds awful if he's not sleeping he's pretty much coughing and he's been coughing up some yuck and some of it is bloody and he kind of smells like infection and blood and ugh. he smells sick. He doesn't really act sick though. I will say he's such a good guy. I mean, he is perfect for our family and I have been even praying and wondering, you know, what in the world? We've only had him since April. Um, I've done my best not to look up too much on Google or on the internet and I've done pretty good about not doing that. Because I know that everyone is a snowflake and just because something happened to somebody and doesn't mean it's going to happen to us or I mean you have to take some of the things you know as a general this is what could happen and this and that kind of thing is good in my opinion but um, I don't want to get too much into the details of anything without knowing exactly what it is that he has so we're waiting on the doctor to call back to tell us the price of that so we can determine when and where and how we're going to do that because in my head I think he said $1,100 that's a lot of money I have a kid in college another kid going to college we have you know life and $1,100 is a lot of money so I don't know we're we will have some decisions to make but I and again I'm guessing that price I don't know it seems like that's what he told me before but I could be totally just making that up from something else he said. I don't know. Um, I still haven't paid for the Blasto cost. Because when I went there to drop him off for that, they didn't have him in the system because Dr. Johnson had just like, added him on. And it was early in the morning and she was like, just, you know, we can catch us later. I said, that's fine. So... And I know that that's expensive too. So, I mean, I just need to, and I haven't been there again because I, you know, when I dropped him off for that 
um, uh, they they just it was an in office thing, so then I took them home and then they just called yesterday with the results. So I haven't been back to the vet, but I will be there soon, or they will send a bill. I don't know how that works, but whatever. I will get it straightened out for sure. Um. That's the biggest news on my home front. Um, other news, I wish I knew a news uh, sound, but um, my son said that his steering on his car is hard again. So I asked for his dad to help take him to the place that we got it fixed today because I can't take off work and get him downtown. <coughs> Excuse me. So I asked to see if his dad could help him with that. So we'll see. I'm kind of leaving it in their hands because I have dealt with this car and dealt with this car and dealt with this car. And I am not that I would stop dealing with it. I get it. He's my kid and he needs some help. I would help him. But um, at some point I'm like, okay, somebody else needs to take over for this because I'm about to go bananas. So we'll see how that works out. Hopefully that will be fine and hopefully... My ex will be able to get him downtown and back. And my daughter <laughs> just put a down payment on a tattoo. <laughs> and it is beautiful. I'm not going to tell her you what it is. I'll, I'll let her show it sometime if she wants to. Um, she has it scheduled for July 15th, I believe. She's going on vacation July Third or July, I don't know. She's going to be on vacation with her dad for about 10 or 12 days here soon. Um, maybe even leaving like Friday or, or Saturday. Maybe Saturday. I don't remember exactly. But um, they're going to be gone for a little while. They're going to Florida, so that sounds fun. And she didn't want to get it before then, knowing that she wouldn't want to get it in salt water and all that after spending so much money on it. And she wouldn't want to take any risks of ruining it. So... Um, she picked a really, really cool design and she picked a really cool artist who, uh, after seeing some of his work, I think he's going to do a marvelous job and she's excited and I'm excited for her. It's pretty cool. Uh, see how it turns out. Maybe I'll say, Ooh, can I get the same design? <laughs> no, I, I won't, but it is, it's really cool. Uh, so that's what she's doing. Um... Oh. let's see that's about it yesterday I did my foodie Friday with a meal like a one pot creamy chicken pasta or something it's actually on Pinterest it's all over but it's so good so good I would definitely give that a two thumbs up and tell you guys to try it I actually brought some for my lunch today very good I'm not sure what I'm doing for dinner tonight. It's either going to be lasagna roll-ups or chicken fajitas. And I'm kind of leaning toward chicken fajitas, although I forgot to take out chicken. Oh. I don't know. But now that I'm saying that, I think I have some pre-cooked chicken in the freezer. So I think I'd be all right if I used that. Oh, sorry guys. And just baked that with the veggies. Because I have bell peppers and onions. Some tomatoes. I don't have very many tomatoes left. I used a lot of them on my tacos. I love tomatoes. And I got the cherry tomatoes. I could literally sit down and eat a whole thing of cherry tomatoes. I love them. But nobody else likes them, so I don't know how they don't like cherry tomatoes. My husband doesn't like cherry tomatoes. My husband only likes, he likes tomatoes in things sometimes, but like he probably wouldn't eat it plain unless it were a yellow tomato. I don't know. He's very picky about weird things. I mean, yellow tomatoes are fine, but it's not like, oh, I have to have a yellow tomato. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato, 
let's call the whole thing off. That always reminds me of Harry Met Sally, when Harry met Sally. Good show if you guys haven't seen it, but it's old. Like I was at high school old. Um, so tomorrow is Friday, thank goodness. Yay. I haven't done my plan with me's yet. <laughs> I need to get on the ball and do that tonight. Last night was just not a good night to do much of anything. I was such a crab apple. I think I slept like crumb, but I got my Fitbit. So we shall see how it tells us that I slept. Um, I'm kind of excited about that. I didn't really like sleeping with it on though, but I guess that's what you have to do in order for it to tell you how you sleep, but it's not very comfortable to wear over sleeping, in my opinion. But it felt like it was up, I was up every hour or two to go to the bathroom or something woke me up or whatever. My son, you know, doesn't get home until late, so because he's working, he works every night. He works tomorrow, tonight is his last night. He doesn't work Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, which is kind of good for him. He deserves a little break. So I think that's good. I can't think of much else. I'm not going to stop at Starbucks this morning. I'm going to get coffee at the office. I don't need to spend all the cash. And as a matter of fact, what I should do is put five bucks away somewhere. As though I went to Starbucks and start saving money that way. Wouldn't that be fun? I don't know if I'll do it. But you know what? Thinking about it, I might do it. I have a pocket in my planner, I think, don't I? And if I don't, I should get one. And I can just stick the five dollars in there because nobody would ever look in my planner. Nor would I let them. No. Actually, I wouldn't care if my husband looked at my planner or my son or whatever, but they just don't, you know. And then I can see how much money after a month I have in my planner and then it'll make me happy to know that I didn't have Starbucks for a good reason. And I could save that money for something special, a new outfit or something like that, maybe. So yeah, we'll see about that. Even if it's just five dollars a week, that's twenty dollars a month. And I don't know if I've had Starbucks all week. I must have. I must have stopped on Monday. I mean, I, sh I used to give myself the pleasure of having Starbucks once a week. Well, that just turned into like once a week, turned into three times a week, turned into five times a week. And it was getting bad. I mean, you guys know. You, you went with me a lot of times. So, I'm going to slow that down. Slow it back down. Roll it back. Roll it back. are beeping. Not at me. Better not be beeping at me. Don't beep at me. Horns are so funny sometimes. I'm mean, just the sounds of them. Like that one right there. I remember I um, on my mom and dad's car they had this horn thing. It had like 15 different sounds or maybe more. I don't know. And you could push it. Like you could push and it would play like Auga or like a little song or something like that. Like you could make it play different horn sounds. I don't know why that was a hoot for me, but I loved it. I thought it was hilarious. There were other sounds. I can't remember them off the top of my head. 
lots of different sounds. Probably not unlike something they have on our phones today or something. I probably have it and I don't even realize I have it. Just like this Fitbit, I don't even know what it does. I need to look and check it out. I know that it will track like exercise and sleep and all that, but then I, I'm, I've only, I've not even had it on for a day. So I am not sure how to like look at all the information and to gather it and then does it record it? Does it keep it? Can I do like a, can I have it send me a email with all the statistics or, you know, there has to be a way. I know it's supposed to go along with your fitness plow or plan or whatever with that. So I don't know. I just need to learn more about it. So that's what I will be doing sometime in the near future. All right, well, I am here, so I am going to close this vlog. I don't know if I'm going to close the whole vlog, but I might. I don't know. We'll see. I know I have another morning, so it might be about a half an hour, and that's probably about a good time to close the vlog, and maybe I can do a whole other one for Friday. I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling, but I am going to let you guys go, and thank you very much for watching, and I love you. Bye-bye.